You know, there, there's so many different ways. You know, we one of my regionals in the southeast was the first one to tell me about Brantley Gilbert. We were talking on the phone, and Justin Moore had played that night. I said, so how was Justin's show? He goes, it was really good. I'm like, what do you mean really good? It's like, well, he opened for this guy. I said, he opened? He goes, yeah, this guy named Brantley Gilbert. I'm like, what is that about? She goes, well, it's this. I said, is it a hat act? And he goes, she goes, it's a hat, but not like you think. And so there was a buzz building with Brantley. Um, there doesn't always have to be. It's a, it's a shorter road when you've already done a lot of the work yourself as far as identifying who you are as an artist. And you know, if you have an online following, if you can sell a ticket anywhere, all of those things, you know, are, are you a real artist? Does anybody really care about you? It's a lot harder to start at zero of just taking somebody who's a really great singer and having to build each piece of it. Now that happens. It's just a longer road. So, you know, Allison, who's here today, she's always looking, she listens to everything. She could tell you where every song in town is by every writer. You know, when we need a song, if one of our, our artist writers doesn't have it, she helps find it. Um, so online is a big deal. Has anybody here seen Hardcore Juliet online? Have you seen that, that young kid singing that song? Yeah, isn't yeah, that hilarious? Five million views in one day, right, Harry? Yeah. So that's a forest fire. Now, a lot of times, those are novelty. But you know, when you when you really have some talent, you know, we 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 found a couple artists that got our initial attention online. Brantley had, I think, seven or eight million views on Kick It in the Sticks. It's just like, oh my God, this thing is blowing up. So I, I think more and more we're finding things online, but Allison gets pitched stuff all the time, and, and Allison's a great A&R person, probably the best in town. You know, she was watching the band Perry for quite a while, and she goes, I found this band, they're not ready for you to hear yet, but they're going to be. And then she brought the CD to me, and I remember listening to it on a Saturday morning, and hearing If I Die Young, and just without thinking about it, playing it over and over. I think about the fifth or sixth time I called Allison and said, get them in here. And we met them, and then were these beautiful kids that are just so cool and, and caring, just great people. But long answer, it can happen anyway. Make a lot of noise. I want to take a second just to thank your staff that 